that surveillance system. Those are the old power supplies for the surveillance system. Well, you spend $100 on a power supply, that's gonna last you like a year. So, I had an extra car battery, a good one at that, excess power. And uh, these are voltage regulators I got on Amazon. Um, it's adjustable. So basically, this works like a car, the way I'm setting this up. This is going to regulate the voltage at 12 volts. Now this one, these are rated at 5 amps. So what you do is you get an inline fuse holder, crimp it on, put it on, make sure it's good. What are you doing, Grizzly? Mm. Anyways. So, put it on. I put a 5 amp fuse in here because it's rated at 5 amps. This, according to my fluke, is at 5.83 volts. Keep in mind, it'll say on the back of each device, such as your DVR, what it is. Plus, on the center, the shield, or the outside is minus. And then the same thing with your cameras, but the other way is if you know how to use a meter, you just, you can tell which one's what. So make sure you ohm it out first. Now I'm gonna finish reconnecting this regulator because I'm gonna put eight cameras on that regulator. Um, these are rated, I haven't actually checked, but these are these are rated at two amps a piece. See, 12 volt, two amps. It's, put, it's powering four cameras. Somehow I doubt they're all, all four taking 500 milliamps because those, those aren't even running hot. So, let's say 250, it's probably pulling an amp, but realistically, to be safe, I got the amp headroom. So, it's basically, let's say hypothetically, it's pulling four amps. If it pulls more than five, the fuse is gonna blow. And obviously, you have a DC meter. This one, and I could actually check to see how much power it's taking with this meter. But, uh, actually, this, this one does DC. Yeah, it should. Um, whatever, anyways, this is just a quick video to show you how you can make your own UPS power supply with a car battery. I even have my coffee table on this so that way I can plug stuff straight in, but um, running 12 volts, 5 volts, whatever, you just gotta get the right regulator. I have another surveillance system upstairs and that one is also gonna go on something similar but not as big of a battery. This one gets the front of the house, side of the house, the one in the back, that also will have the same thing. I have an additional regulator, which that regulator I got came fucked up, I gotta return it. So, in reality though, I mean, they already have five amps, I got more than enough power to run this thing. And um, now, so being, okay, so yeah, yeah, I mean, how long is a car battery gonna last? That's a Black & Decker six amp battery charger. That right there will power everything constantly and charge the battery and keep a charge on the battery. This is your alternator for your car. This is your battery. So it functions just like a car. Anyways, I'm gonna continue once I get uh, the rest of the wire, so hang on. Continuing on, so here's what you got. Two five amp fuses. Now this screw, like, it has a little cover. I just put a wood screw in there just to hold it in place. It doesn't matter if it fucking moves. It doesn't matter, blah, blah, blah. So, before, um, okay, and now put our Black & Decker power supply, or alternator, because that's what it is. This thing, as I said, this is a 6 amp. Um, I had to kind of look for it online. Sorry if you can't see. So it has this clip. I ended up using the little clip there. But before you do anything, make sure you're getting 12 volts on all your things, on all your outputs. Sorry, I suck at making videos. I've come to conclude because I don't plan it out like most people. I just kind of do it. So I should get negative 12 volts here. Yeah. Negative 12. And then this one should be negative 12. Now in theory, the one with two is going on the camera, so this one's a singular one. This one's going to get plugged in first. DVR. Uh, yeah, it, it has a bad fan. I, I, I'm well aware of this fan issue. But let it boot up, and then where are my... I, shut up. I said shut up. And it doesn't like that, apparently. What the fuck I do with my cables? Oh, they're, they're back here. I kind of shoved them back here. Oh my. Um, okay, well, fuck. Alright, hold on one second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna 
find my damn cables real quick. Where are my fucking cables? Uh, why do I do things and make a video to teach people and it ends up sucking? Okay, here they are. You can kind of see them. I'll put the phone right here. And then I'm going to plug those two in right here. Get my plus 12 volts. There you go. I mean, it'll, it'll shut up eventually. I, 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 I know it does, you know. <laughs> Don't make fun of me. God damn it. Okay, so, push the DVR back. Sounds like it's struggling. Um, yeah. Alright, I want to put it on pause real quick. Alright, sorry, that, it was just, the, the battery was sitting on top of it, and then I also unplugged the DJ. But see, as you can see, I got all eight cameras rolling. Shit's going. Oh, you know what? I haven't plugged in my alternator yet. So, let's plug in the alternator, which is this wire right here. Now, this is a solid connection. I know it doesn't, it looks janky, whatever. It's not in a moving vehicle. It was fine, but see, okay, I used smaller ones, I didn't have bigger ones, and I used my drill to kind of like widen the hole, but it fits an M6 bolt perfectly. Anyway, and I basically so it threads on. Now this fucker... I really should plan out my videos more. Some of these people on YouTube are just damn good. I'm like, whatever, I'm half-assed when it comes to videos. But you can always ask questions. I know what I'm doing. Might not look like it, but believe me, I know what I'm doing. So alternators on. Let me flip it over so I can see. Yeah. So not, nothing was planned. It tells you if the battery is charged. The battery is not never gonna finish charging. The battery will, will finish charging, but it's always gonna pull off of this. This is basically a power supply at this point. And if you check, I mean, now what I'm gonna do, let me get my fluke on this. So, when I do this, I'm going to put, I'm going to tell you what the voltage is and show you. And this thing's not going to run off of 14 volts, for sure. Because remember, your alternator puts out 14 volts, because this is meant for a car. So you see, I'm getting 14.35 here. And, well, I'm not going to unplug anything because I have it going, but basically, yeah, obviously you're getting 12 volts to that and your cameras. I, I wouldn't surprise me if it works off of 14.4, uh, uh, but why bother, you know? So now, this right here is equivalent of a power outage. Oh my god, the power went out. Oh my. Look, the Black & Decker, but... My surveillance did not notice a difference. And this, also this is an AGM battery, which is a lot better than your normal battery. You can't put a normal battery on its side like this, like a lead acid battery. So just as a heads up. Now in theory, AGM battery will definitely outlast one of those UPS power supplies, okay. I mean, you can go to Walmart, get the cheap one. That'll probably outlast a UPS power supply because there's no load on it. And then also, this thing will go days when your power goes out. Actually, it's saying that, according to this, the battery's fully charged, which it is. So I said, this is basically mimicking how your car works, essentially. Batteries getting charged by the alternator. The car is on right now. Car's off, but, I mean, this is just a battery maintainer, so. And I'm going to do this upstairs, too. But I need to order a new power supply because that power supply is fucked up. Because it won't, I can't lower the voltage, it's stuck at 13 point something. But I want to keep it even 12. And also, that fan is no longer making the noise. No oh, shit, it just came back on. Anyways, um, I hope you find this video useful. And as long as you know what you're doing, if you don't ask me questions, I all, I'm go straight to my phone and when I see someone ask a question I'm always willing to help answer questions just because I did this to my direct TV I don't say do this to uh, my coffee table um, has uh, 
has all my my 19 volt charger connected straight to a couple carb or to an optima uh it's connected to an optima and the same setup basically and my laptop charger is there basically so it has a laptop charger it has a couple uh tablets which uh control my tv using alexa and i have a I have an Alexa module which has a 5 volt regulator which connects to that. I have a USB charger which comes out of my coffee table. Same setup essentially. But I want to show this because I think most of you will find this more uh, more convenient. Especially if you're like in the desert and you get a lot of rolling blackouts. You know, you might have power without dip for days but and you have stuff you need, you need surveillance. This is the way to go. I said don't rely on UPS power supplies. They never last long. They're the most annoying pieces of shits ever. So, sorry, I'm just running my mouth now. And, yeah. But there you go. And there's Grizzly. Thank you.